Hi all, today we are going to demonstrate Boomi App Insights Framework. Boomi App Insights is a single source of truth for all Boomi processes. It is designed by EAIESB to provide insights and to make life easier for all the Boomi clients and Boomi support teams. Generally, this Boomi App Insights follow this life cycle, it contains four stages they are, started, in process, completed, and errored. We have developed a Boomi connector which makes developer life easy to track the executions or steps, data within the processes. Users have to just drag and drop BAI connector similar to other connectors and configure as per their needs. As we did earlier, add the set properties as of your requirement. We are going to demonstrate using two scenarios onboarding a customer or account on Salesforce and create a ticket or incident in service now to send a welcome kit. Customer files will be read from the FTP. Here we have a scenario by polling FTP to retrieve files and it will create an account in Salesforce. Daily hundreds of accounts will be onboarded support teams are facing difficulty to track based on file name or Salesforce ID or ServiceNow incident. Currently, support teams are spending tracking each and every execution. In order to avoid the CAIESP developed Boomi App Insights, which contains a custom connector, API, and rich UI. Now let us implement with BAI custom connector. Now let us deploy and execute or test the process. Here we can see that the process is being executed. We can view the message states that test execution is completed successfully, on the down right side of the page. Now let us navigate to the Boomi App Insights to see how the process states are captured in the UI. Provide the appropriate credentials and click on the login button as shown. You can observe the number of stages for each and every individual process. We have separate tabs to check the daily, weekly, and monthly analysis of all the processes. Click on the Audit, Kanban, tab as shown. Here we can see that the process is under the completed state as the process is successfully completed. Click on View, we can see all the process and sub-process states. And the data for every instance which was configured by the developer in two views are by status and by flow. Here we can also search the status through the customer ID. For both by status and by flow. Now click on the audit tab, provide the customer ID, to view all the logs with that particular ID. Now let us check with the account ID, provide the account ID, to view all the logs with that particular ID. Now let us check with the process name, provide the process name, to view all the logs with that name. That's all for this video, stay tuned for more updates. For any queries please reach us at widget.trade at the rate of